so today what we'll do is we'll do a quick revision and addition and see a few more additional problems on this topic okay so addition we saw what was addition right so what is addition addition is nothing but finding sum or a total of two or more numbers by combining them together correct so when you combine two or more numbers together you add them and you get a result so that result is called the sum or the total okay so then we learned two types of addition the first one was addition of four digit numbers without regrouping and then we learned addition of four digit numbers with regrouping so first let's see what is addition of four digit numbers without regrouping so uh, they give you two four digit numbers and they'll ask you to add them so what you'll do what you'll do is first write the numbers in columns that is in a table like this vertically in their place values so we have 1406 and 2370 over here so first you'll write 1406 in their places so 6 is in 1's place 0 in 10's 4 in 100's and 1 in 1000's place and then 2370 0 in 1's place 7 in 10's place 3 in 100's place and 2 in 1000's place then we start the addition so first step in addition is first you add the digits in one's place so so in one place here i have six and zero so six plus zero will be six so i'll write six in under the ones column then moving then we add the second step is to add the tens so the tens here are zero tens and seven tens so zero plus seven will be seven itself okay then we move on to hundreds place in hundreds place i have four and three so how much is 4 and uh, 4 plus 3? 4 plus 3 will be 7. And then we add the thousands place. So the last step is to add the digits in thousands place which is 1 plus 2, 3. Okay, so these are the different steps in adding 4 digit numbers without regrouping. Then we saw another example. Right? So we saw 1234 plus 5712. So first we write them in vertically in columns in the table. Then we add the ones. So four plus two is six. Then we add the tens. Three plus one. So which is three plus one is four. Correct. And then we add the hundreds place. In hundreds place we have two and seven. That is two plus seven nine. And thousands place I have one and five. So one plus five six. So the answer is six thousand nine hundred and forty six. All right then we saw addition of four digit numbers with regrouping so what does regrouping mean whenever in any place you have a number which is greater than nine or a two digit number you regroup them to the next place okay so similarly when they've given you two numbers to add you first write them in columns okay so write them in their place values and put them in vertical columns then so here are the numbers are 5878 and 3327 so when you write it in columns you get like this 8 in 1s 7 in 10s 8 in 100s and 5000s then the second number will be 7 in 1s 2 in 10s 3 in 100s and 3 in 1000s then here also we start adding the 1s so in 1s place here i have 8 and 7 so how much is 7 plus 8? 7 plus 8 is 15. So I got 15 ones. Now this 15 ones, I'll regroup them as 1 tens and 5 ones. So 5 ones, I'll write on the ones column and 1 ten, I'll carry it over to the tens place. Now we'll add the tens place. So we add the 1 which is carried over plus 7 plus 2 which is 10. So here I have 10 tens, right? Here I have 10 tens. So this 10 tens will regroup it again. How we'll do that? We'll regroup that 10 tens as 100 and 0 tens. Okay. So now 100s will carry over to 100s place and 0 will write in tens place. Then we add the 100s place. So in 100s place we have 1 which is carried over then 8 and 3. So 1 plus 8 is 9 and 9 plus 3 is 12. So we have 12 hundreds correct so that 12 hundreds again we regroup it as 1000 and 2 hundreds so the 2 hundreds we write in the 2 uh, hundreds column and the 1000s we carry it over to thousands place 
So in thousands place, I have 1 which is carried over plus 5 plus 3 which is 1 plus 5, 6 and 6 plus 3, 9. So the answer is 9,205. Then we saw another example 5,879 plus 3,551. So we arrange the numbers vertically in columns and then we add the ones. So we follow the same procedure here also. So 9 plus 1, 10. So we carry 1, 10 to 10's place. Then 1 plus 7, 8. 8 plus 5, 13. So we write 3 in 10's column and carry over 1 to 100's place. So in 100's place we have 1 plus 8 plus 5 which is 14. So we write 14 in 100's column and 1 in 1000's we carry over. Then we add the 1000's. 1 plus 5, 6. 6 plus 3, 9 which is 9430. So this is how you add 4 digit numbers with regrouping. Alright, then after this we saw a few properties of addition. Correct? We saw addition properties. So first property we saw was order property of addition or also changing order of two numbers. So here what you'll do, now you have, they have given you two numbers to add. Okay, so what order property says is you can arrange these two numbers anyhow. That is you can change the order of the two numbers and add them and yet your result will be the same. So you add the two numbers in any order, your final sum okay, will be the same. So here we have seen an example, right? 4 plus 2 is equal to 6 and also 2 plus 4 is also equal to 6. Then we saw grouping property of addition also changing order of three numbers. Okay. So here they have given you three numbers to add. And these three numbers you can group them. That is first you add two numbers. Group those two numbers together and add them. And the result what you get by adding those two numbers. You add it to the third number. Okay. So this so you can group the numbers anyhow so you can add the three numbers in any order and your sum will be the same at the end okay so this is grouping property of addition now order property of addition is also known as the commutative property and grouping property of addition is also called as associative property and then we saw what is zero property of addition so what is zero property of addition here to here, to any number you add 0, the sum will be the number itself. So, you add any number to 0, your final answer will be that number itself. Okay, because 0 has no value. 0 it means, basically means nothing. Right? So, you can add anything to 0 and your answer will remain the same. Then we saw adding 1. Okay, we saw how to add. What happens when you add 1 to any number? So, whenever you add 1 to any number you get the successor of that number for example if I take 750 then 750 plus 1 will be 751 which is the successor of 750 right so these were the different properties of addition then we saw what were number stories so what were number stories number stories were nothing but where they give you a, a story you need to read the story carefully read the numbers carefully and form your sentences and then see what is the problem and find the answer okay so you have to uh, you have we read some rules right we saw some rules right uh, you need to read the no story properly read the problem correctly then tell it in your own words and then find the solution okay so we saw different story problems now what we'll do is We'll quickly see a few uh, additional questions on addition other than what we have done in your textbook. Okay. Okay. So first one, fill in the boxes by adding the following. Okay. So first question is 270 plus 1. So we know that uh, the property that is there, adding property of by 1. So whenever you add 1, you get the successor of it so 270 plus 1 will be 271 right then 342 plus 27 so how much is 7 plus 2 it is 9 then 4 plus 2 is 6 and 3 plus 0 will be 3 so that is 369 then 5 plus 4 we have 9 2 plus 1 3 and 2 plus 3 5 so 530 
9. Then how much is 342 plus 18? So 2 plus 8 is 10. So we'll carry over 1 to 10's place. Then 4 plus 1, 5. 5 plus 1, 6. And then we have 3 plus 0, 3. So 360. Okay, so answer is 360. Then 256 plus 62. So 6 plus 2 is what? 6 plus 2 is 8. Okay, and then 5 plus 5 is 10. So you write 0 and carry over 1. So that 1 plus 2 will be 3 and 3 plus 6 will be 9. So 908 is the answer. Then 7 plus 7 is 14. Carry over 1 to 10's place. 10's place we have 1 plus 4, 5. 5 plus 2, 7. And then 3 plus 4 is 7. So 774. So all our answers are right. Okay, so this was one part of the uh, problems. Then next part. The smallest one digit number and the largest two digit number. So what you have to do here, fill in the boxes with the sum of the following. So what is the smallest one digit number? Here the smallest one digit number is 1. Okay and the largest two digit number is how much? Largest two digit number is 99. So how much is 1 plus 99? 1 plus 99 will be 100. Okay 1 plus 99 will be 100. Then small largest two digit number and the smallest three digit number. So what's the largest two digit number? Largest two digit number as we just saw is 99. And the smallest three digit number is 100. So when you add that you will get 199. Okay 199. So second answer is 199. Then third one. The smallest three digit number and the largest one digit number. Okay so what is the smallest three digit number? It is 100. And what is the largest one digit number? It is 9. So how much is 100 plus 9? It is 109. Okay, so it is 109. And then the smallest two digit number and the largest three digit number. So what is the smallest two digit number? Smallest two digit number is 10. And the largest three digit number is 999. Okay, so how much is 999 plus 10? So what will you get when you add these two numbers? Yes, you will get 1009. Okay, so the answer here is 1009. So 1009. Okay. And then the smallest three digit number and the largest three digit number. So what is the smallest three digit number? It is 100. Largest three digit number is 999. So when you add that, you will get 1099. So what is the answer? It is 1099. Okay. Then the smallest one digit number that is 1 and the smallest three digit number 100. So 100 plus 1 is 101. Okay. So answers are right. And then Question number 3. Fill in the boxes by adding the following. So how much is 10 plus 25? 10 plus 25 will be 35. Then 200 plus 50. Now 200 plus 50 will be 250. 300 plus 600. 3 plus 6 is 9. So 900. Then 20 plus 20 plus 48. So what we'll do first add 20 plus 20 which is 40. Then 40 plus 48 will be 80. Eight. Okay, then 30 plus 50 plus 90. So we'll add 30 plus 50 plus first, which is 80 and 80 plus 9, 89. And then 300 plus 75 plus 2. So first add 375. So you get 375. So when you add 2 to it, you will get 377. Next one. 427, 400 plus 27 plus 30. So now what you can do, you can add 27 plus 33 first, which is 60. And then you can add 400 to it. So that is 460. Okay, and last one, 200 plus 250 plus 
150. So 250 plus 150 is 400 and 400 plus 200 is 600. Okay. So this was the third part of the problems. Now fill in the boxes by adding. So this is addition. So what is the answers here? See 1 plus 3. What is 1 plus 3? 1 plus 3 is 4. Then 10th place 3 plus 2 is 5. Then 100th place 4 plus 3 is 7. And 1000th place 2 plus 1 3. Okay so 3754. Then 5 plus 1. What is 5 plus 1? It is 6. 4 plus 3 is how much? 4 plus 3 is 7. 1 plus 4 which is 5 and 3 plus 5 8 so 8576 then 8 plus 1 how much is 8 plus 1 it is 9 then tens place 2 plus 1 3 then 0 plus 8 is 8 and 2 plus 3 5 and then d1 5 plus 3 is how much 5 plus 3 is 8 then 4 plus 3 what is 4 plus 3 4 plus 3 is 7 then 1 plus 1 2 and then 1 plus 2 3 okay so 3278 then e1 0 plus 8 is 8 then 2 plus 5 7 1 plus 8 9 and 6 plus 3 9 so 9978 so last one 4 plus 5 what is 4 plus 5 it is 9 2 plus 7 is again 9 2 plus 1 is 3 and 4 plus 2 is 6 so 6399 so these are all correct okay so now fill in the boxes by adding so what i want you to do is uh, copy down these questions and solve the problems Okay, solve them and we'll uh, see the answers later. So, copy down these questions. Okay, so uh, A, B, C, D, E and F. So, these six problems you can do for your homework. So, you can either take a screenshot of this page or you can copy it down in your notebooks and solve them. Okay. Now, add the fill in the boxes by adding the following. Okay, so 7 plus 5. So, how much is 7 plus 5? It is 12. So, I write 2 carry over 1. So, that is 4 plus 1 plus 2, which is 7. 7 and then we have 6 plus 2, which is 8 and 2 plus 3, 5. So, 5,872. Okay. And then 4 plus 3. What is 4 plus 3? 4 plus 3 is? 7 then 7 plus 8 how much is 7 plus 8 15 so we write 5 and carry over 1 two hundreds place so 1 plus 3 4 and 4 plus 1 is 5 and then 1 plus 2 is 3 so 3557 then 5 plus 5 is how much 10 so we write 0 carry over 1 then 3 plus 1 4 and plus 1 is 5 then 7 plus 4 how much is 7 plus 4 7 plus 4 is 11 so we write down 1 and carry over 1 to thousands place so 1 plus 2 plus 2 how much is it it is 5 so 5150 okay copy down these last three questions also these last three questions are also for your homework so complete these for your homework so the problems in the last part those six questions and then these three problems okay okay now fill in the boxes with correct answer using properties of addition now 6458 plus 0 so we know that whenever we add 0 we get the number itself so we write the number here 6458 then 3129 plus 4329 is equal to 4329 plus dash so here we know that two numbers in any order will get the same answer so these two answers will be equal if this number is 3129 then 7846 plus dash is equal to 7846 so here 7846 plus 0 only will give you the same number so 0 then 2 
So here I have 5678 plus 2358. So which is the third number which is missing? It is 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so dash plus 9875 is equal to dash plus 2453. So these are same. Uh, they, uh, both the answers are equal. Correct. So both the numbers should be same. So this is 2543 and this is 9875. Okay, so here what is the number missing in the last one? It is 329. Okay, so this was properties of addition. Now, choose the following answers from the options below. So, there, uh, this is a story problem. Right, so there are 1350 students and 175 staff in school. So, what is the total number of students and staff? So, when you add both the numbers, that is 1000. 350 and 1075 so number of students plus number of staff in the school will be equal to total number of students and staff that is equal to 1525 okay so 125 okay so that's your answer Okay, so this is how you do addition. Alright, so we'll continue in the next class students that is with the next chapter which is subtraction. Alright, thank you.